Today we are looking at the Samsung S23 B300B 23 inch 1080p LED monitor. Right away I'd like to apologise, I somehow managed to lose the unboxing footage so unfortunately it's already unboxed so we're starting from this point. So let me tell you a bit about this monitor. It has 250 candela per square meter, that's a measure of brightness, a 5 million to 1 contrast ratio, a 5 millisecond response time, so that's reasonably good for gaming, 170 degrees and 160 degrees viewing angle, horizontal and vertical. See it's got this kind of strange stuff pattern on the back, which is kind of weird, but you know you don't you don't see it anyway. The connections on it, it has one DVI, a one VGA connector, I should say in the box it comes with a VGA cable and not a DVI which is yeah, it's quite annoying really uh, and also there's the slot for the power lead right there uh, dimensions with the stand are 547 by 405 by 197 uh, it typically weighs 2.9 kilograms and that's also with the stand uh, and the power consumption is around 30 watts under typical use okay so let's enjoy some sweeping shots and then we shall look at some pictures on it. Hi guys, okay, so let's talk a little bit more about this monitor. I've told you all the specs, we've gone through all that. So let's talk about the price point for this. I got this in a sale, a Cyber Monday sale, £84. It's normally priced at around £110. Now this isn't an IPS screen or a PLS screen or anything like that. And I think that would suffer if you were doing like video editing or something like that. It lacks that absolute clarity that like the IPS and the PLS panels will bring to you but for the price it's it looks it it looks good it looks really good I mean I've bought it actually it's it's the one that's right here if you can see that I can't see if you can see that uh, it's right here it's used as my second screen like if I'm recording I put it up there if I'm not if I, I move that here and put that there but anyway so yes the unboxing that you kind of miss sorry about that or it only has like it has a power lead with it has VGA cable with it a user's manual and then a lot of other packaging you know so I really I really have no idea what happened to the file I was I transferred it all from the camera and when I got like looked at all the files it was gone so okay so there's not really much more to say about this like it's very difficult for me to show you what a monitor looks like I mean I know I took I took some pictures of it took some video of it with some high quality images on it but I'm not sure that will really demonstrate it. There is one little thing, I'd like to read to you one little line from their marketing buff, okay? It says, it is like an explosion of colours and leaves other screens, other screens? And leaves other screens seem dull in comparison. So, okay, let's have a look above the white screen comparison between these two. I don't know whether it comes across to you but this bigger one here is far whiter far the white is so much whiter if that makes if that really makes sense i mean i know this type of footage doesn't really show very well but if we go in close now between the two two of them side by side you can see the one on the left which is this monitor the one on the right which is my lower monitor here the x star 27 inch pls monitor and i know it's not fair to compare the two I was just when I read their marketing and they said that that really it just irritates me when they kind of make up things like this. I know they mean to the competition, but still. 
So uh, yeah, I don't have much more to say on this for the price point, the price you pay for this. It's a really good monitor. If you just want it for for like gaming or something like that, then it will do you very well. Uh, the five millisecond response time is like to be honest. This is supposed to have a ten millisecond response time. I've just I've never noticed it. It's one of those things you have to have. You'd have to have really sharp eyes. Obviously, I don't. And in case you were wondering why I happen to have a MacBook Pro 17 inch here, I have just fitted it with a new Plex door. A new Plex door SSD right here. We'll be looking at that a little bit later on, probably. That's not relevant to this video. Check that back up there. So, yeah, thank you guys for watching. Subscribe if you liked it. And I will see you guys next time.